When electrons form a current and move due to the electric field, a magnetic field is generated as a result. This phenomenon is related to the rotating magnetic field, which is described by Ampere's law and Maxwell's curl equations in the context of electromagnetic theory. The electric field is a vector field associated with charges, and the current is the phenomenon that arises from the movement of charges. As current flows, a magnetic field is generated, which is expressed by B.O. Sivart's law. Therefore, the electric field and the current interact to generate a magnetic field. Unlike the electric field, the magnetic field is a rotating phenomenon, and its direction is determined by the direction of the current flow. Additionally, since the magnetic field is relatively stronger compared to the electric field, there are observed interactions and mutual influences between the electric field and the magnetic field. Through these interactions, phenomena such as electromagnetic waves occur. In a stationary state where there is no current, there is no magnetic field generated because there is no current flow. This is because the current arises from the movement of charges. However, the electric field is a vector field generated by charges, so if charges exist, an electric field exists. Therefore, even in a state where no current is flowing, if there are charges present, an electric field can still exist. However, in this case, the electric field becomes a much weaker phenomenon compared to the magnetic field. In other words, although the electric field and the magnetic field are distinct physical phenomena, they are related to each other. When current flows, a magnetic field is generated, and the presence of a magnetic field can affect the current and give rise to an electric field. The movement of magnets is a result of the interaction of electromagnetic forces. Therefore, even when a magnet is not moving, a magnetic field can still be present. Permanent magnets, for example, are materials where electromagnetic forces act to maintain a magnetic field, and such permanent magnets always have a magnetic field. Furthermore, electromagnetic coils can generate electromagnetic fields using current, even when the magnets are not moving. These electromagnetic coils generate a magnetic field using current, regardless of the movement of the magnet. Therefore, a magnetic field can be present even when a magnet is not moving, and this is due to the electromagnetic force. However, if the movement of a magnet is a result of electromagnetic forces, the magnetic field can vary with the movement of the magnet. It is important to note that charging using only permanent magnets is not possible.